Hey guys, it's Elle. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are jumping right into our next part of City Skylines, Palm Bay. Now, as you can see, garbage is starting to pile up. Um, in our last part, we reached the milestone of Little Hamlet, which gave us medical clinics, elementary schools, landfills, recycling centers, and a community school. And um, these uh, the taxes and the loans so what we're going to do immediately is place a recycling center I hate the dumps I think they're I oh I just I hate them they fill up way too quickly and then it takes forever for them to empty out and I just I can't take them so we have the money and we're going to put in a recycling center so we're just going to pop that right there in our, I am so sorry, we're going to pop that right there in our um, industrial area. And before I hit play on this, I am just going to add in the rest of the things that we'll need. So the medical center, I'm going to pop over here. Um, so this is going to be our main street, and I think I want to keep it away from main street just so it doesn't crowd that up whenever it gets to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to put it over here, and it's going to dump onto the side road. So it's not going to hurt the traffic going this way. It's, you know, you'll have to come off the main road to get to the clinic. Now the next thing we need is an elementary school. And that, I think, you want to put these in a central location so that the families in the area can all like reach the same elementary school. So I'm going to do the same thing as it I did with the clinic only I'm gonna put it over here on this side of the street now you'll see the green areas it'll cover most of what we have already and that one little tiny house is gonna be destroyed but it is what it is all right so let's hit play and let this play for a second um, our industry uh, we were in need of some industry so what we're gonna do is just zone around the landfill or I'm sorry the recycling center and I think now would be a good time to fix these um, power lines because they're just not they're in the way and they're driving me crazy already so we're just gonna take our demolition tool get rid of that for a sec now we are it is gonna look like we're gonna lose power for a minute just bear with me it'll all be fine in just a minute gonna look real scary here for a sec oh okay out of city limits we... okay well that sucks well, let's just get rid of that we're gonna put this here bring it here and then down so that still looks janky but we just need the power to come back so so all right so we are all set Hour anyway and then that frees up some room to finish off zoning this so we can just do that and do that and that wow we have had like those um power lines were taking up so much space usable space all right so this is a decent start these guys are losing power already um which is a little concerning and we don't yet have our policies, but what we can take a look at is our budget. So we can increase our budget for electricity just a little bit. We'll bring it up to 105. And that'll help to produce a little bit more. So we'll see if that works. Um, it's working a little bit. Whoa, geez, maybe it's not. Let's, uh tweak that a little more. Let's put that up just a little bit more and see how that goes. See if that does anything for us. Yes. All right, cool. It fixed it. Now, the next thing I want to do to get a little bit more money is fix the taxes. Now that we have access to taxes, we can increase what we uh, tax people for. So I'm going to push this up to 12 for this commercial and industry 
and that should give us a little bit more money for now. And what I'm going to do is just up this a little bit to 105. And clinic, we don't really need to. Water will do the same as the electricity, just to be on the safe side. Okay, so we're looking good for right now. So we, oh god, no we're not. What the frick is happening over here? Um, this is concerning. It's slowly getting better, but it's not doing exactly what I want. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna add one more wind turbine. Now I could do this, and it's very tempting, to be honest. So I think I'm gonna do that instead. It'll help us out a little bit more, and they don't like it, but guess what? I do. So we'll let that go for a second, see if that fixes our problems. And there you go, that fixed it right away. So what I wanna work on now is building out our um, grid a little bit more, but what I wanna do is just upgrade our main street right here, just to differentiate it from the rest. Um, just wanna get that taken care of so I don't forget about it in the future. I am gonna bring that out, let's see, 600, 600. And for the rest of the grid, we can still keep with the gravel road for now until we decide to upgrade that. But I don't think, I don't really think that's necessary right now. We're still trying to build up our community and get money in, so once we're financially ready to do that, then we'll do it. But at this point, we're gonna leave it as the gravel roads for now. All right, make sure you bring your water over under the roads. That, oh, that's gonna, that's gonna annoy me. Not gonna look at it. And let's do some zoning. So we do need some more commercial. So we'll zone this area here for that. And then we'll zone the rest of the areas in residential. And we'll see how that goes. Now the traffic is looking okay. Um, I hate that they park on the sides of the roads here. But we'll upgrade that in a little while to the industrial roads. I don't even think we have access to those yet. Um, honestly. Yeah, no, we don't even have access to that. So that's not even an issue right now. And we are losing population, but I don't know why. Oh no, it's, it's fine, okay. Got nervous for a second. I don't like that feeling. Um, so what I wanna do in, I don't think it'll be this part because I don't think we'll have access to it yet, but I do eventually want to get our industries taken care of. We don't have areas yet, um, so we can't do any special policies or anything like that. Uh, it's kind of a waiting game at this point just to make sure we have you know enough of everything that we need I think we have everything because we don't yet have uh, fire and police so that's you know that'll be the next thing all right so little hamlet we need less than a hundred people to become a worthy village and then that'll give us policies districts that's the word I was looking for districts It'll give us the police and emergency services, and then it'll give us some um, new industries. Now it's the forestry and agricultural, which those aren't the ones I'm looking for at this moment. I'm looking for the ore industry, which I think that might be another couple. Huh, where is the, when did we get the ore industry? Am I? Am I crazy? Can I not see? Oh, so we have to be a boom town in order to get the ore. So that's that's still a while away. But um, that'll be my goal is to get that so that we can get this ore industry area up and running. Give our uh, city a little bit more money. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit and I'll come back once we are a uh, worthy village. And there you have it, Worthy Village. So we reached a population of 100, or I'm sorry, not 100,000, just 1,000. 
we're able to buy a new area, which I'm not gonna do right now because we don't really have anything much going on in this area. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about that. But I am gonna start setting up some districts so that we can put some policies in place. Um, I am going to have to do the police and emergency services pretty much right away. And then we have, what is this? Oh, it's a large elementary school, which to be honest, the high capacity elementary school and commercial and residential buildings, I don't like. I don't like the coloring of them. So I may or may not use these in this build, but we'll decide that at a later date. For now, let's get the firehouse and police station in. We may not have the money for both just now, but we do have loans we can take out, so we can always consider that. The fire station I want to put pretty close to um, the side of town. I want it to be close to the industrial area because a lot of fires tend to break out in the industrial area. So I'm going to put it right here. That way it'll cover everything that we need. Um, I don't think, yeah, we don't have any of the natural disaster stuff yet. Next thing is police station. So I'm gonna do the same thing just on the opposite side of the road. Just put that right down here. And that way they're both in a central location so they can get to where they need to be quicker. And I don't, we don't have any parks yet, so we can't do that. We do have these special buildings, but our city's just not big enough for those yet, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother. Pedestrian. Yeah, we just, we don't need to worry about this right now. But what I do want to do is make a couple of districts. So I want to make an industry district, industrial district, I guess is what I meant. And did I do that wrong? General. I did do it wrong. Okay, let's uh, just do that over. Uh, da, da, da. How do I? Can I not do that yet? Paint. Oh. Don't have access to that yet. So just kidding. Just kidding. But what we can do is do a residential district. And we can set some policies in place for our little old town area and we can call it old town instead of Chester Square let's do old town with an E because it looks fancier so let's take a look at the policies that we can use uh, we don't have many <laughs> right now we have three smoke detector distribution water usage and power usage um, I think the only one we're going to do right now is the smoke detector one. And then as we get more, we'll, we'll add more in. But for right now, we'll just do the smoke detector. We'll do the same over here once we get that industry. Once we get that industry area set. Um, so it looks like we are needing some more residential. So we are going to build up the grid just a little bit more and get that taken care of. So let's do that. Okay, so now that the bri grid, now that the grid is built up a little bit, I'm gonna start zoning it. Now you'll see I did add a new water tower it's because these water towers they can produce a lot of water, but it's I like to have two in a city this size just to make sure we have the right amount of water coming to our citizens. So I'm gonna zone this here, and I'm gonna go over here and do a little block of commercial. Just so like when you're in the area, you can walk to like a corner store or, you know, your local pub or whatever, and it'll be convenient and it won't all be up in one area. All right, so I'm gonna finish zoning the residential. 
and I don't want to go overboard but I know that this is all going to be residential anyway so I'll just you know I'll put it all in there for now and we'll let that we'll let that build up okay so that's coming in nicely for our next milestone we only need 1,500 people to become a tiny town. And that'll give us um, pedestrian areas, it'll give us landscaping abilities, it'll give us parks, finally. Um, we are missing parks. And then it'll open up some new services, along with a ton of new policies. Um, footpaths, new roads, and yeah, tons of good stuff here. Canals, but I don't use those because I don't know how. Uh, fences and a lot of new buildings. We'll get the high school, the library, the parks, and oh, I love the carousel. I think that's so cute. And the botanical garden is one of my favorite park buildings to put in. All right, we'll get all this. So look at all this good stuff we're gonna get. And you know, only a, a little, little over a hundred citizens left to get that. Our industry demand is coming up a little bit. So let's go over here and build this grid a little bit. Oh, that happened. Did I just do that? Well, we'll take care of that in just a second. Nothing to see here. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. Actually, let's take care of that now because I'm, I'm starting to stress a little bit about it. We do have this, like, helping keep the city up. So while these... Well, the power lines are severed just a touch. There we go. It's not like that was very detrimental at all to us. That's okay. Sometimes panicking for no good reason is fun. All right, so that's good for industry for now. It, the, the demand is there, but it's not incredibly high. Let's put the water, put the water in, and then we will zone. We'll, we'll leave it there for now. Like I said, it's not too high, so we don't we don't need too much of it right now. So Old Town is coming nicely, coming up nicely. Let's um while I'm thinking about it, let's finish off. Oh, Tiny Town, awesome. So, like I said, we've now got Tiny Town, and we have all of these amazing things. What is this? Oh, I thought it was a life jacket. I'm like I've never seen that. So now we have all of these new policies in place, all the fun stuff going on. Um, I'm going to end this part here, but I do, before I do that, just want to extend our Old Town area just to encompass all of what we have so far. You know, as this part grows, we'll build it up and we'll continue the area a little bit until it becomes something new, like downtown or new town but we'll get there one day at a time. So yeah, like I said, I will leave that there. I hope you guys um, are liking these videos. Like I said, it's something different for me. Um, I, I've just been, I don't know. I, I still love trucking sims. I'm just, uh, I'm kind of stuck at the moment. So city builders are where we are at for now. If you guys like this video, please consider giving me a like, commenting down below, and subscribing, and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload, usually Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Until the next video, guys, take care.